Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at small angle approximations so we can answer questions from exercise 5f. So uh, we're going to be small angle approximating sine, cos and tan. That basically means that as the theta value is small or very close to zero, we can use some approximations instead of calculating sine, cos and tan in our calculators. So what we're first going to do is we're going to compare the sine curve to the line y equals theta. Okay, and we can see here at zero, it's almost identical, if not, um, yeah, very similar indeed. So um, when the angle is very small, the sine graph of y equals sine theta tends towards the graph y equals x, or y equals theta. So therefore we can say that when theta is small and measured in radians, sine theta is almost approximately equal to uh, theta. Okay, notice here how our scale is going up in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, not 90, 180, 270, 360, so it has to be in radians mode. So when it's in radians, the small angle approximation is really good. Because the small angle approximation is 1 minus theta squared over 2, and that is almost uh, identical at close to zero around this region here there's almost no difference between the red line and the blue line so for cos the small angle approximation is going to be 1 minus theta squared over 2 and for tan tan is the same as sine y equals theta is our approximation there so in this case here tan is going to be approximated to theta when theta is measured in radians so what we're going to do is we're going to answer questions like this. Um, when theta is small, find the approximate value of sine 2 theta plus tan theta all over 2 theta. Well, what we'll do then is we'll introduce, use the, use the rules we saw um, when theta is small and measured in radians. So in this case here, we can put a 2 in front of the sine thetas and thetas. Uh, so this is just going to be 2 theta, and that's going to work for any of the um, small angle approximations. So for example, if I had tan 3 theta, this would approximately be 3 theta. Plus tan theta on its own, so that's just plus theta all over 2 theta, and you should see some of the um, values cancelling out. So in this case here, this simplifies to 3 over 2. Okay. Uh, we can check this by substituting a small value for theta into the original expression. So let's substitute in theta equals 0 0.005. And just to double check that on your calculator, you get 1.4999, blah, blah, blah. So that's, yeah, very, approx very good approximate for theta is small. If theta was, say, pi by 2, this would be a rubbish approximation. Okay, so it's only very small values of theta you should be plugging in. Um, as theta. Next one here, cos 4 theta minus 1 over theta sine 2 theta. So in this case here, it's going to be 1 minus 4 squared, uh, 4 theta squared all over 2 minus 1 over theta brackets 2 theta. Simplifying all of this, the 1 subtracts the 1 will give you uh, 0, and then expanding the brackets, we get 16 theta squared. Simplify the numerator, um, so it's going to be 16 over 2, which is 8, so that will simplify to a minus 8 on the top, and then cancel out and we get minus 4. Okay. Substitute in a small value of theta and you should get roughly minus 4, which we do. Show that when theta is small, that this um, left-hand side is approximately equal to the right-hand side, so sort out your left-hand side first, I'd have LH S, standing for left hand side equals, uh, so it's sine 5 theta, so that can be replaced by 5 theta, uh, tan 2 theta, so that can be replaced by 2 theta, but cos is the weird one, that needs to be replaced by 1 minus 2 theta squared over 2, and simplifying what we've got here, expand the brackets, and this is what we get, 7 theta minus 1 plus 2 theta squared. We can rewrite this as the right-hand side, so equals RHS.
the right hand side. Part B of this question is hence states the approximate value um, for theta is small. So in this case here, when theta is small, uh, if theta is small, then in radians, any theta and theta squared terms will also be small, i.e. negligible. So these two here will just cancel out if theta is very small, so we're just left with minus 1. We can substitute this into the original expression, a small value for theta, and we get minus 0 0.96, which is very small indeed. We get these small angle approximations in our formula booklet, so you don't need to memorize them, but sine and, theta, sine and tan are just straightforward theta values, but cos is the weird one, 1 minus theta squared over 2. Your turn to have a go at a question here now. Pause the video and try this one out. All right then, so let's have a go at this then. So it's going to be 1 minus, and then cos is the weird one, so it's going to be 1 minus theta squared, 2 theta squared over 2, all divided by tan 2 theta, which is just 2 theta, and sine theta, which is just theta. So now expanding the brackets on the top, it's 1 minus 1 plus 4 theta squared over 2, all over 2 theta squared. Cancelling out the 1s and the minus 1s and simplifying the numerator, 2 theta squared over 2 theta squared, which will all cancel out just to make 1. Okay, so that's all we uh, need to do in this video here then. So um, have a go at plenty of the exercises from uh, exercise 5F. Have a go at the exam style questions and the um, problem solving style questions as well, just to make sure you've got it. And after that, we've finished chapter 5, so make sure you have a go at some of the questions from the mixed uh, exercise at the end, just so you can summarise, make sure you're confident, before you move on to the next trigonometric chapter, which does get a lot harder. Thanks very much for watching.